Texas hero and memorialize his name and sacrifice in such a visible way. I recognize State Representative Tom Craddock for his presence and his leadership. I recognize his support to law enforcement and to the West Texas communities that he serves. I recognize the leadership of the Rankin Independent School District to take the time to support us in this endeavor. I also recognize the leadership here in Upton County. I recognize County Judge Bill Eiler, the County Commissioner's Court, and the Sheriff Dan Brown. I recognize the City of Rankin, its leadership, the Mayor of Rankin, as well as the City Council. Your support for the Trooper Sammy Long Memorial Highway is a great honor, and it will always ensure that his legacy and his service will always be remembered. These measures to memorialize Trooper Long's life are a testament to the respect and adoration that he gained through his dedicated service and sacrifice. Thank you again to his family, to his friends, his co-workers, and to such an outstanding community that is making sure that the bravery, the commitment, and the sacrifice of Trooper Sammy Long will never be forgotten. Our first guest speaker, has served 47 years as a member of the Texas House of Representatives, including six years as speaker. He has provided leadership for the Midland area and for law enforcement. Everyone, please give a big West Texas welcome to Representative Tom Craddock. Great to be here and welcome. It's a good West Texas day, and so and that's great for the day we're going to have here today. I want to thank DPS Director Steve McGraw for being here. Steve, thank you for coming to my district and to the, this county and community. We appreciate you having. Thank you, Mary and Tracy, for allowing me to be here today to honor your husband and father. Thank you all very much. We are coming upon the 40th anniversary of Trooper Long's greatest sacrifice. 40 years that Mary and Tracy have lived without their husband and father. For 40 years, our West Texas highways have been traveled on without, honorable, without the honorable service of this dedicated DPS trooper. This highway dedication is fitting for his legacy as a public servant who dedicated his life to police work and public safety. I talked to several people today and I read some people in the middle of paper or read it before I came down, not on the way down, but I read it before I came down. Anyway, of, of people that he had given tickets to or lectured and they all seemed to, I, don't, I couldn't see them at that point, but they all seemed to walk away from the situation feeling they were better off. And I think that's really important. I'm glad I wasn't one of those that I gave a ticket to because I think I got a few during that era when I represented Rankin. Police work is about making a difference. Sammy Long made a, a difference. It's incredible that for 40 years later, folks continue to remember Trooper Long, not because of his tragic and untimely death, but because of the difference Sammy made in our community for almost 18 years. Being a law enforcement officer is not for everyone. It's tough. It makes a special, it takes a special individual with passion, courage, and good moral compass. It is his calling. Sammy answered that call. He fit the bill. He courageously answered every call to help West Texans in, in his capacity as a state trooper. And he fiercely answered when he was called home to the Lord on US Highway 867. Throughout the years, Sammy and his family have received many recognitions for his, for his service and bravery, but this one just might be the best way to honor his sacrifice, and it'll be there forever. This highway dedication did not come from a state agency or a government organization. It ori originated from the people who loved and respect the man, the trooper, the legendary Sammy Long, right here. I commend the group that sought to honor Trooper Long. This was a quite an undertaking, 
and it has finally come together as we dedicate the highway today. This portion of US Highway 87, now the Samuel Long Memorial Highway, will ensure that Trooper Samuel Long's incredible service and greatest sacrifice are not forgotten. It'll be remembered every time he passed the, the two signs that, that name the highway for him. I want to God bless Texas and God bless Trooper Long. Thank you for having me and have a great day. Please welcome Upton County Judge Bill Lyle. Welcome to this notable occasion, and thank you for coming together to honor a fallen hero. On behalf of Upton County, we are honored to be a part of this effort that pays tribute to this extraordinary uh, devotion of Sandy Law, and to truly acknowledge the ultimate price that he was willing to pay for justice and lawfulness. Join me in saluting those individuals who spearheaded this effort and brought it to completion today. So let's give them all a big hand. Thank you. According to the officer down memorial page, there have been 22,573 known line of duty deaths in America since 1791. Volunteer work diligently on the memorial page and constantly discover forgotten line of duty deaths throughout the country. Their collective efforts have resulted in recognizing 1,537 previously uh, forgotten heroes who are now honored on the OBMP and other local, state, and national memorials. There are words that simply aren't used much in this day and age to describe a fallen hero. Being, but I submit to you today that heroic, noble, bold, and courageous are words that fit Sammy Charles Long. These same words are also fitting for many of you in the audience today. It takes a man and a woman of uncommon valor to wake up every morning to go into the line of fire. <coughs> like Sammy Long, a day in the life of this DPS trooper likely began with a standard morning ritual. This included putting on his uniform, adjusting his game face, considering his morality, and finally striping on his weapons. He probably asked God to protect him and bring him home safely to be with his family. That didn't happen one Sunday, and he experienced something most of us would never remotely consider. Every day for years, Sammy Long had to deal with the daily challenge of surviving to see another day. As you know, in Upton County, we faced some overwhelming losses. It's intensely moving to see the miles of law enforcement officers lined up in their vehicles with their lights on in tribute to a fallen colleague. Today, we're reminded not to take for granted what you've been blessed with in this life. From the core of my being, I salute those of you who face each day with the possibility that you may not make it home to a hug and a kiss from loved ones. The aftermath of such a loss in the lives of family is also a terrifying prospect. How many of us actually ponder what it would be like to miss out on our children's and grandchildren's lives, our spouses, our families? It happens every day in our communities and the losses are immeasurable. You are resilient, dedicated, and give you your lives willingly at any time of the day or night. For that, I'm grateful to you, and I thank you enough. It is my profound pleasure to stand before you and honor this remarkable man, Sandy Lawley. By extension, I honor the men and women who keep the peace. The rest of us can wait to relative peace, comfort, and security, and go to sleep at night with the belief that uh, faith in God that we'll, we will see another day. I close with powerful words from the Bible. 
in Numbers chapter 6, verses 24 through 26. May the Lord bless you, keep you. The Lord makes his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. May the God of hope, strength, power, richly bless you and your families and communities. And may his ministering angels be uh, encamped around and about you for protection and unrelenting love. Thank you. Please welcome the mayor of Rankin, Timothy Potter. Good morning. I would like to say what a great honor and privilege it was to be part of the city council that has helped honor Trooper Sammy Long. Sammy Long was a man of integrity and honesty. He was proud to serve and protect the public. He never thought twice about the risk he was taking when he put his uniform and wore his badge. Sammy, excuse me, Sammy is someone we should all strive to be like. Sammy was a, Sammy may have been taken far too early, but his legacy is very bright and up to come. I can only hope that this memorial sign will serve not only as a reminder of Sammy, but also a reminder to always thank the men and women in law enforcement for serving, protecting, and risking their own lives for you and me every day. God bless our men and women in uniform. Thank you. Please welcome the Sheriff of Upton County, Dan Brown. Thank y'all for allowing me to speak to you this morning. Um, I had a speech and I couldn't find it a while ago, so I'm gonna have to wing it. So bear with me. Um, I don't know, a lot of y'all know that uh, Upton County has had a lot of uh, tragedy in the officers killed in the line of duty. Um, all total, there have been six in the history of Upton County. There's, Trooper Long, Sammy Long, and uh, five Upton County deputies. Three of them were, three of the deputies were killed in the automobile accident. And then the three other officers were killed in, uh, with violent gunshot fire. Um, we all know what a tragedy this is. Uh, one thing I wanna to say to all the law enforcement people, uh, this is a tribute to Officer Long, to Trooper Sandy Long. But we want you to be careful. We want to remind everybody to be careful. Uh, as we speak, things are happening all over this state. Things are happening in this country. Be ever vigilant in your safety. Watch each other's back. Uh, Ms. Long, we thank you for the service of your, of your husband and trace of your new father. Uh, there's no words that I could ever say to, to say thank you enough. Um, God bless you and God keep you. And all of you officers, stay safe. God watch over you. Thank you. Without these next individuals, their hard work and their fundraising efforts, this memorial would not be possible. Please welcome members from his previous school, as well as members of the Trooper Sammy Long Memorial Sign Committee, Michael Holguin and Bruce Fletcher. My name is Bruce Fletcher. I uh, grew up in this county. I 
know a lot about the gentlemen that we're talking about today. I have a, a big long speech, but everybody's already pretty much given what I wanted to say. Except we get together in McCain every year, every five years, and every year we have a fabulous 60s reunion. And every year when we're at these meetings, we always have a Sammy Long story. Make any difference, you know, who it is. I mean, there's, there's stories that come from Houston, there's stories that come from Crane, there's stories that come from El Paso, uh, Utah. A lot of these people are McCamey High graduates, graduates from Crane, IRM. So anyhow, Mr. Hogan and I decided sitting there one day that we needed to do something about this. And as in all things we did, we always consulted Mrs. Long and had her prayers and anything we did. So I think it was about a year, not quite a year ago, we were sitting at my kitchen table in Snazlo and we decided we needed to have this memorial, this highway memorialized for Sammy. Uh, we started at the Fabulous 60s reunion and we had a, a uh, Afghan that had been donated to <coughs> our group and we decided to raffle this thing off to get our money started to raise for this undertaking we had. And uh, we raised over $500 in just that one one thing. The young lady that made the Afghan is sitting out here in the, in the uh, audience today. The gentleman that wanted is sitting out here. Uh, so that was our start. I have many people to thank. This is a culmination of a lot of memories that we've all had in my life. As a matter of fact, the first ticket I ever received was on Fort Stockton Highway by Trooper Sammy Long. I guess I was not smart enough to keep on driving, but my hot water six that I was drag racing out there with a fellow uh, McCamey classmate, he outran me, of course, and I, I pulled over. <laughs> so, uh, all these accolades that they've given, Sammy was compassionate. He gave me that ticket and he told me, he said, you go home and you tell your daddy about this ticket. He said, when I hear from your dad, that we'll make sure it, it might just go away, but we'll figure out something, what else we can do. But being a bullheaded, strong young man, a boy, I guess you'd call it, I kept my mouth shut. My dad came in one day from work. He worked for the county then. <clears throat> he said, come on, let's go. So we got in the truck. Went down to the police station, and I don't remember what Justice and Peace was there, but Sammy was sitting there, and I knew I was in trouble. <laughs> but that, uh, he was truthful, he was honest, and when he said, you did not say anything to your dad, I said, no. He turned to the judge, and the judge said, uh, well, I guess we're going to have to follow through with this ticket. He said, you got $29.50? And I said, yes, sir, I've got 30 And he said, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> so anyhow, that's, that's some of the memories that I've had of him. The, the other person that really that has helped so much is Mr. Hogan, Michael Hogan. He's going to be the next person up. I've known him since I was three, four years old. He was very instrumental in the Veterans Memorial there in McCain. 
all its fine work. He knew who to contact to get this thing started. We decided not to go through the state because we wanted to expedite everything we got done or could get done. And from then on, we were fortunate enough to be introduced to Mr. Skipper Hunt, John Wayne. He is a fine gentleman. I think he's become a very good friend. He has helped us in many ways, guided us through, made contact with different entities in the state so we can have this project completed. Uh, the other person that was very in instrumental in keeping stuff in the newspaper was Candace Cooksey Fulton. I don't think she's here today. She lived in San Angelo and her, her dad was a sheriff in Sanderson Baker. Down there. So anyhow, she knew him, she knew Fanny through her dad. I want to thank county commissioners of Buxton County, the city council and the mayor of Rankin for all y'all support and doing what we need to do to get this there. And to all you officers out there, I would like to meet each and every one of you, but the thing I hope the most is I don't meet you on the highway. <laughs> y'all do a job that few people want. You put your lives on the line every day. Take care, and God bless each one of you. Tracy, your dad, as I said, gave me my first ticket. He meant everything he said, everything he did. You could take and count on every word that he gave you was going to be true. And if you didn't follow up with what he asked you to do, he was going to be there to make sure you did. I'm sorry that you did not have the opportunity to be with him or have him for your life. From what I've seen and heard of you, you've done a very good job. And that lady sitting right next to you has done Thank you. Miss Long. Being Sammy's widow, high school teacher when I was in high school. A mentor, a friend. You have helped each and every one of us that you come in contact with through difficult times. And I hold you up knowing what you've gone through and some of the things that I've had to endure in my life that we can do. <coughs> and thank the good Lord that we can. We love you. One of the other things we had to raise money was the golf tournament. And that was my project in San Angelo, Texas. We raised enough money to have our signs made. We still got some, a little bit of money left, which we're, we're trying to decide exactly how we're gonna disperse that. Uh, I think Mr. Hogan is gonna touch on that in a few minutes. But there's one other thing that we need to look at. Each and every one of you sitting out there has some story about what Sammy Long did for you. And we've tried to decide, and we're trying to get together all the stories that we want to put in a book. The name of that book, apropos, long overdue. And this whole thing that we have here today is long overdue. I had a poem that I was going to read that one of our classmates from McCandy wrote. 
with everything going on, my feeble mind left it in the car. So, <laughs> so if you if I do get to see some of your officers out there, take it kindly on the old person. We forget some things that our foot gets heavy. So, and closing. Officer Sammy Charles Long was more than the long arm of the law. He was the long arm of our parents. He touched us in many ways. He helped to raise us. He helped guide us. And for that, I'm thankful. Thank you. Sandalong Memorial Sign Committee thanks the following for the assistance in this endeavor and project. First of all, thank you, Pastor Trick Strickland, for that outstanding prayer. Let the county be a lighter. The commissioners, David Mooney, Leon Patrick, Lee Sitchworth, Tommy Owen, and his crew for building this stand for the sign. Thank you much for that. You know, the first step, in, uh, first step in this process was uh, uh, to obtain a resolution from Lufkin County for US Highway 67. And part of that resolution also included uh, the uh, seat of ranking uh, mayor and council because the US 67 goes to uh, the ranking city limit. So we met with them and both were uh, 100 percent behind the project and passed a resolution and also the county uh, uh, signed on to an agreement <coughs> that would maintain <coughs> the signs in the future if uh, perchance uh, some vehicle were to strike uh, uh, the signs or the weather or whatever so we thank them for that and like i said i want to take this to thank the seat of uh, ranking for the resolution designating US 67 within the city limits, also at the Cooper Samuel Memorial Highway. Uh, former Mayor Tim Potter spoke already. Council members, Nina Gale Mitchum, Vonda <coughs> Garner, T uh, Tammy Wisham Gomez, Jerry Jackson, Juan Guerra, and former member Wayne Allman. Also want to take this time to thank the ranking ISD, uh, Superintendent Hugh Richardson, his staff and the students that are helping out today and also for the, the use of the facilities, in particular the auditorium and then the, across the way for the reception after the uh, dedication. I also want to thank the uh, McKamey uh, Tech Stock Supervisor Joe Diaz and his crew for uh, installing the bases. And uh, the one at McKamey should be up by now. And once this, uh, this dedication is over, they'll come in and pick this one up, take it to the eastern end of the county and install it. So at the end of the day, the signs will be up. And also, I want to thank the uh, Tech Stock Odessa District Engineer uh, Kelly Williams. Uh, through a uh, skipper, uh, we visited with her and she told us we knew the process that normally you go through to uh, have a, a highway designated, typically an interstate. Well, we felt that, that process just took way too long. So she told us about a, uh, a regulation that's on the books. That is not used often, and that is if uh, uh, the local entity, whether it be the county or the city, uh, comes forward and petitions uh, the text dot, and uh, uh, that something can be expedited a lot quicker. So we opted to go that route for that reason alone. Uh, and of course, you know, uh, we're not promised tomorrow, 
And although we see um, as long <coughs> every year at this reunion, you know, you know, we're not spring chickens anymore. So, uh, Martha, we appreciate you and your attendance. So I want to thank uh, uh, Ms. Williams for her support. Now, as Bruce mentioned earlier, uh, the seed monies began at these reunions. Uh, for the McKinney Veterans Memorial, it started that way. A blanket was donated by a, by a classmate that uh, you know, their uh, family was a veteran, and that's where it started. So that's two significant, significant things that came out of those reunions, these two projects, the Veterans <coughs> Memorial and now this project to honor Cooper Sammy Long. Uh, three years ago, you know, as Bruce mentioned, you know, the, the topic always came up at the reunions, uh, stories about Sammy, and <coughs> you know, we called it now <coughs> Badge of Honor, get one, at least one ticket from Sammy, maybe more, you know, I'm not saying. <laughs> but anyway, uh, some of us are a little bit more better than others. And back then, you know, in the 60s, you know, we had high water 60s and whatever else, and we'd like to get on the Fort Stockton Highway, mark a quarter mile, and see who could uh, win a few dollars. But anyway, Sammy was always a step ahead of us. For them to re-realize, and I learned that when my kids were growing up, that he used to be a teenager once. So he knew what we were up to. Uh, so three years ago, uh, I approached uh, Mrs. Long about this endeavor. And you know, she graciously acknowledged the merits of it. But uh, I, I didn't feel the green light at the time. Well, last year, in October in San Angelo, when I approached her about it, she said, Michael, I've got the name and phone number that you can contact of Sammy's partner, which is Skipper. That was my green light. I called Bruce right away. I said, hey guy, where to go? Let's do it. So that's how it started. And that's why we are here today to see this. <coughs> You know, I personally want to thank the, uh, the committee for their willingness to see this project through. Lieutenant retired John Wayne Skipper Hunt, Candidate Tootsie Fulton, Bruce and Connie Fletcher, and myself. But above all, thank you, Martha, Lou, Brown, and Long, for sharing with the committee personal information and memories of Sandy. And I can say from all the, the uh, alumni from McKinney, we love you and we enjoy you visiting with us every year. And sometimes we get together in Odessa for lunch or whatever. But Tracy, pleasure to finally meet you and your good wife, your son, and his uh, newlywed, and the kiddos. And especially uh, law enforcement, uh, you guys do an awesome job. And uh, I nearly came close to going, but I ended up in the military instead. So I know what it's like to serve, and thank you so much not only for the Upton County, the city, the state. God bless every one of you. Some of Trooper Long's partners are here today and would like to share just a few brief thoughts with you. Please allow me to introduce Rick Easterwood, Skipper Hunt, and Billy Burton. What an honor it is 
to talk to a crowd like this. Uh, I guess I'm the middle guy. I didn't know really how many partners Sammy had broken in over his career. I had no idea, but I'd heard him talk about Billy, and then of course I met Skipper later on. But I moved up in County 42 years ago. I didn't know a thing about West Texas. I grew up in East Northeast Texas, where they had this thing called trees. Trees and <laughs> water. When I moved out here, it was honestly culture shock. I didn't know what I was getting into. When you accept the job with the Department of Public Safety, you just you just go wherever the openings have to be. I guess I drew the short straw on this one. I, I met, of course, Sammy was the first person I ever met. And uh, he hit, uh, we hit the ground running. He, uh, he got me plugged into the community and he explained a lot of things to me that have carried forth in, in my life today. Uh, when I got here, Sammy already found me a rent house. I didn't have to look for a rent house. He found me a little nice little rent house. And when the first day I rolled into town pulling all of my sole possessions in a four by six U-Haul trailer with two tires on it, that's all I had. Sammy came to my house and helped me unpack the stuff. Right. People from McCamey started showing up at my door. Uh, Martha made something, I don't remember what it was, a casserole or something. Food started appearing at my house. People where I live don't do that. That's, that's in West Texas. I mean, little cakes. And some other things to eat came, and uh, you know, it's just a warm feeling for a 20-year-old trooper that didn't know a soul, didn't know a soul in the county. But Sammy got me plugged in, he got me going. Uh, one of the first things he did, he got me plugged in with the Lions Club. Uh, I hadn't heard that mention, but Sammy was real active in the Lions Club. He got me plugged in, and I, even after I left here, I, I continued that. And even today, I'm in the Kiwanis Club now. Uh, Sammy explained to me and when you're a DPS trooper, you're more than just that guy that works the highway. You are an integral part of the community. You get involved in the community. You're part of it. Uh, if there was a high school football game, Sammy Long, not only, excuse me, not only was he at the game, Sammy was on the sideline. He was there. If the bus was traveling, Sammy escorted the bus. I don't know if that's still done or not anymore, but he, he was into a lot of stuff. And he, he drug me along. And that, that was neat. That was really was. Because I just thought, you know, being a trooper, that was just a, kind of a one-dimensional job. But it's not. You represent the whole Department of Public Safety. And I've noticed this. When I was 20 and moved here, I had a kind of a naive perception about what the rest of the world was like. I hadn't traveled. But now that I've retired from BPS, I've had the good fortune to do a lot of traveling. I travel across the country and, and some international travel. I thought the whole world was like Texas. I was wrong. <laughs> Texas, Texas is a special place with a special attitude, a special persona. West Texas is way above that. Seriously, when you look around out here, the outpouring, the feelings, the outpouring that comes from the West Texas mindset is overwhelming. I was noticing driving in today, every car I met, people waving at you. But where I live, they don't use all their fingers. They wave at me. <laughs> it's different. West Texas is just a real neat place. But one of the one of the toughest things for a, you know a guy that's just out of the DPS Academy, you think you're about to set the world on fire. I mean, you've been you done been trained. You're going to be a Texas Highway. Well, used to call them Highway Patrol, but now they're troopers. But when I got here, Sammy let me know right quick that my training just begun. He. Uh, taught me a lot of things, he, he just taught me so many things, and, and I'm, I'm not going to touch back on them, but I'm standing here today primarily because of things that Sammy Long taught me. I've, I've been in some skirmishes, I've been in some tough situations. I went ahead and did 30 years with DPS, 6 years in Highway Patrol, 24 years in narcotics, 16 of that 24 has been undercover. <laughs> Sammy Long gave me the mindset and taught me things that kept me alive. Not only did Sammy influence my life and my law enforcement career, I did my 30. I've got a younger brother that came along behind me. I made it look so attractive. My younger brother joined the department, did his 30. My son-in-law is a state trooper. My grandson, my oldest grandson, is going to Harvard Seminary <coughs> University right now, pursuing a criminal justice degree. His goal in life is to become a DPS trooper, and I have no doubt he will succeed. Sammy Long is the common denominator in all that. And you look at Billy, I know Billy retired, I don't know how many years he had, but I'm gonna bet it's a bunch. Uh, Skipper retired with a bunch. 
That's how Sammy Long is the common denominator for that. He was a man of integrity. I enjoyed working with him. He was also a bit of a prankster. He would play some jokes on his uh, young troopers. They laughed a while. We were out there in the foyer. I'll share some of those with you in private. <laughs> probably, probably not a good idea to do those right here. Thank you very much. speech, you must have been really special. I don't remember getting a casserole. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I want to thank everybody that's here today attending this ceremony, and I want to touch on the same uh, individuals that made all this happen, and that would be the FAB 60 group that uh, started all this, and then that blossomed into the county commissioners and the city council, as you have already heard. I just want to uh, just reiterate that. And also, uh, we need to thank uh, if we didn't have the donors that we had that, that forked over the money to make this happen, uh, we, just, we wouldn't be here. So we had lots of donors, and I'll tell you what, if, if I called you and talked to you or sent you a flyer, uh, I, I, I probably talked a lot, and I'm sorry about that, but you can tell I'm probably pretty passionate about this. But without the donors, uh, this would have never happen. And if you would join me, I would like to thank everybody in here. <laughs> Lots of thanks, and I couldn't remember all the names, but uh, there's three individuals that during this process that I, 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 I just hit their ear, I can't tell you how many times, and I, I really need to acknowledge them. Uh, one of them was an old co-worker of mine, and he's the regional commander in uh, Lubbock right now, uh, Commander Gary Alvis, and he's sitting right down here. I also spent a lot of time on the phone with the Master of Ceremony here, Commander Kerry Matthews, and also spent countless hours on the phone with the engineer that Michael mentioned, uh, that Kelly Williams, the text dog in, in uh, out of Odessa. And I know that there's been a lot of other memorials held in the past, not just, just a couple of them. I think in 1978, if I'm right on the dates, in the early part of 1978, there was a memorial plaque that was uh, presented to Martha here at the courthouse and it's on display at the main entrance and I think there's some other plaques from the other deputies that have died in the line of duty on display there too. I don't remember if they're all there but I know Sammy's is there. That happened in 1978. In the winter uh, of 1978, I'm going to say around October, the Department of Public Safety Officers Association, they have an annual conference and that <coughs> It was, it was held in uh, Beaumont, Texas, and they invited Martha down, and she was presented a plaque at that deal, so he was remembered then. And then I go back to the 1998, I was a sergeant at Fort Stockton, and I got a phone call from a guy named Rick Metcalf, and we had a roadside dedication out on 67 where Sammy was killed, and he was remembered and, and honored at that. And then, Next in order, in 2013, uh, Director Stephen uh, McCraw at a public safety commission meeting in Austin, Texas, presented Martha with a memorial cross at a very memorable occasion there. Thank you very much. And now to why we're here. Uh, I give a lot of thought about what I wanted to say, and I tried to trying to write, jot, jot it down, but I'll probably wing it. Uh, being a rookie, uh, Sammy Long rookie, that's what he referred to me as countless times. Uh, come here, rookie, you know, and, and I would do it. Did, did everything he told me to, but uh, the word has come up compassionate. I, I can say that about Sammy. He was, he was fair, he was firm, and he was compassionate. And I can also say that that transitioned into me, and I think I gathered by Rick and Billy that it transitioned into them too, and it stayed with me throughout you know, almost my 35 years that I had with BPS. I wanted to reflect.
reflect back to, uh, I guess it was uh, Rick, you know, Sammy was a jokester. When, when we were at the roadside dedication, uh, and I'm going to borrow his words, at the time he, he was a county judge in Howard County, and I think he's here today, I just haven't seen him yet, Ben Lockhart. Uh, he was master of ceremony at that little roadside dedication that he had. And I remember uh, Ben, uh, I don't remember the exact words, but it was something like, Sammy is the only guy I know that can write you a ticket and make you like it. <laughs> And I think by looking out here, everybody I've seen, uh, a lot of old faces that I worked with, lots, lots of old colleagues, uh, co-workers of mine, uh, a lot of members of the community that I met when I was stationed here, a lot of a lot of members of the community where I lived and did a lot of my troopering and where I live now. Uh, a lot of you are out there. And I think it's apparent now more than ever that Sammy's DPS family it's all around his DPS family, his law enforcement brothers and sisters with other agencies that are here today, the communities, both uh, Rankin and the Canaan that are here today, that he proudly serves, <coughs> the presence of his family, and the presence of his friends. We can say definitely that we have not and will not forget the life that Sammy Long lived and the legacy that he left behind. And I thank you again for being here and being part of it. Finally, please welcome Sammy Long's widow, Martha Long, and his son, Tracy Long.
dad loved the DPS. He loved helping others. Uh, I've heard a lot of stories about how he helped others. And it made me a better person. And so with that said, he loved law enforcement. He loved working with all the different agencies and, and uh, peace officers. Uh, it was, he had a passion for it, okay? And I want to thank the McCamey Exes for not only putting this thing together, Michael, Bruce, and everybody else, uh, also for reaching out to my mom. You know, she's been invited to a lot of reunions, class reunions, and she's absolutely loved it. And I do appreciate that. I want to thank the DPS, not only for today, but for every day you're out there on the road. You keep us safe. Keep our roads safe. Thank you. Skipper, I can't say enough. You've been, you've been around and always have been very supportive. And I don't have the words for everything you've done. But I do appreciate it. And it's, it's, it's hard to stay in touch sometimes. And you've made it a point. So thank you. And to everybody out there in the audience that came today, thank you. It's my goal to either shake your hand or hug your neck before you leave, okay? This is kind of my personality. But God bless you. Thank you all for coming.